Hey everybody, it's Compelp. Thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool add-on for Firefox that I really recommend any online user to get, especially if you like uploading images to the internet. Well, I kind of gave it away, but this add-on is called ImageBot. There we go, ImageBot by Andrew F. This guy who uh, made this add-on. It's really nice. All you have to do to install it is click Add to Firefox, click Allow, and it'll install it for you. And that's the guy who uh, made this add-on. Really cool. Anyway, so what exactly does this do? Have you ever had to go to, let's say, Image Shack, uh, oops, .com or .us, whatever you use, every time just to upload your image? Well, that's kind of a hassle. I know it's always a hassle. Um, I found out about this app or this add-on. Sorry if I keep calling it app because it's just so useful. It's like an application to me. Um, I just found this add-on and it's extremely helpful. All you have to do is make a new tab or you know you don't have to do that. Just go to tools, image bot, go to tab, it'll open its own tab like that and you'll have like this upload center which it says right here. It's really easy to use. Just go to upload images and let's say I want to upload this Twitter banner. Um, I said, hey, what's up, man? I know I've been working for you for a while. Check out my progress. This is the Twitter banner that I have uh, designed. Uh, this is just a demo, okay? That I've designed for you, and tell me what you think. So here you have your little, like, uh, thumbnail there. Uh, all you have to do is right-click it and go to Copy. Open it in a new tab. Paste the link, and there you go. Your image is already uploaded online. Just when I clicked Upload Image, it uploaded it, and now I have it saved in my Upload Center and I can always right click copy paste it in and you know there it is it's right here you can send this link to whoever you're um, working for or you can post it on your Twitter account and people will be able to see the image once they click on the link it's that simple guys um, I really really like this add-on okay so what else does it have you can also host your images on image shack and photo bucket I like using image UR or imager uh, it's the fastest for me if I click Image Shack, I have to log in. If I do Photo Bucket, I have to log in. Imager is just straight up, boom, it gets it online really quick. Um, yeah, unless you're a big Photo Photo Bucket or Image Shack user, then you'd want to log in and such. But uh, I really don't keep track of my of the things I like the images I upload online because usually they're like demos, you know, like hey, what does this look like online? Does it look like how I expected it to? What does the size look like? You know, if you're not familiar with the uh, pixel sizes and such, you know, that's the reason why I think this add-on would be very helpful to you, you know, just to check out how it looks online. How does it work with uh, the background of, I don't know, this white background? That was a horrible, that was a horrible way to put it. But anyway, so yeah, this is a really cool thing. Okay, so you can copy the thumbnail, which is just this, and you can say, hey, this is a little preview. It doesn't really give you much, but, uh, that's that. You can also copy a template. Let's say you, you want a hot link for your website. See so right there, it will just give you the HTML code right there. Really easy. So you don't have to type it out and such. Uh, hot link for forums. If you guys use forum sites a lot, there you go. Boom. Just post it on the post. And you're good to go. You know, you can always delete it off here, the upload center. Um, yeah, all right, so template editor, you can always edit the templates if you ever want to change them. You can also create a template interface, and I really don't look into all this. I'm really just here for the main function, which is the upload center functionality. You, know, you, know, you have a whole bunch of different uh, things here. So anyway, that is the app for you, and the cool thing about it is you'll always have it right here. So that's that, and this upload image, click the same one. And as you'll see, you know, you can exit your image bot thing here. I don't know why I open up a new tab every time, but let's go back to new tab. And there you go, you know, they're still there. So it's really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this little add-on thing is going to be extremely helpful for me. Um, yep. If you guys have any other ways, like, I, I want to find one where, like, if image bot had a little icon like this, like my Twitter echo font thing, if it just pop up, that'd be amazing. If you guys have seen something like that, please, please, please let me know, because I really th think that'd be a lot easier. But, uh, yep, that's how... All right, I'm just rambling on now. This is the segment in each of my videos where I just ramble on for no, no reason at all. I'm sorry for that. Anyway, I'm going to end it right now. If you guys 
thought this video was helpful in any way, please rate, comment, and subscribe to this video. Check out a few links before you go. My website is comphelp.com. My blog is comphelp.info. If uh, you want to learn how to make some extra money online, like I do, make you know some money on the side online, check out cashcrate.biz. Follow me on Twitter. Oh, there you go. Follow me. I didn't even notice that. This is the image I uploaded. Follow me on Twitter by going to twitter.com slash comphelp. Um, check out my friend who's really amazing at Photoshop at Creative Ice Designs, uh, youtube.com slash Creative Ice Designs, C I M G. His link will be in the description. He will teach you how to, he goes through the baby steps of Photoshop and will, you know, get, get you like all this background and stuff in Photoshop. Anyway, it's really cool, guys. Uh, again, thank you for watching this video. Here I go again, rambling on. Peace.